Chances are you've used the eraser tool in another program. In Illustrator, the eraser tool works vastly different than it does in most programs. Let me show you how the eraser tool works. First of all, I'm going to draw a shape here, a simple rectangle with a stroke applied to it. The eraser tool is found right here. If you click on the eraser tool, you come over, and if you want to erase the box, you can see you click and drag, it starts erasing what's in the box. And you think, that's great, it's erasing it. But then if you click off, something is drawn there. What is the eraser tool actually doing? Let me undo and show you. If you look at this box, it has a path. Control Y will turn on outlines and we can see the path of this box. I'm gonna press Control Y again. If I use the eraser tool and I cut inside of this box, I'm not actually erasing, all I'm doing is redrawing that path that was in that shape. Control Y, you can see where this path is at. I'm gonna press Control Y again. I can now make the eraser, I'm gonna make the eraser bigger by hitting the right bracket on the keyboard. That's two keys over from the letter P. I can click and erase through here, and notice it's just redrawing the shape. That's something people don't understand about the eraser tool. It's not actually erasing, but it's redrawing the path that your shape has. So now if we look at this shape, Control Y, we can see it is a path outline. It has not actually erased it, but redrawn this path. Control Y will bring it back. Underneath the eraser tool are a couple other tools. There's the scissors tool and the knife tool. Let me demonstrate those as well. Actually, let me demonstrate one more thing with the eraser tool. I'm going to draw an ellipse here. If I click on the eraser tool, and I'm going to make the brush size smaller by, kick, by clicking on the bracket next to the P, I just click through. If I click on my direct selection tool, this has actually created two different shapes. It split the shapes in half, but it's created basically two shapes. It's redrawn the path, so we have two shapes. Let me show you some of the other tools found underneath the eraser tool. I'm going to draw another shape. This time, I'm going to choose the scissors tool. And what the scissors tool does is you click right on the path, and if you click on the direct selection tool, you can see I have actually cut that path or I've cut that string. Notice how it has not redrawn the path, but it simply cut it. So the scissors tool will cut wherever you click on a path, but it will not redraw the path. And so right here, we've cut so we have these four shapes as opposed to the one whole shape that we had before. Let me draw another shape. And this time I'm going to use the knife tool. The knife tool lets you just simply cut and click and drag. And what it does, let me click on the direct selection tool. It basically cuts right where that's at, right on the line and it redraws the path. Just like the eraser tool, only it doesn't erase or get rid of what's in its path. It just cuts. Let me use that tool again. So the knife tool just cuts just like that. As so you can see, we've created paths. So that hopefully has helped you better understand the eraser tool, the scissors tool, and the knife tool. What I want you to do now is to experiment with the scissors, eraser, and knife tool to see if you understand them.